Hi friends, I'm Dr. Ryan here. As we all know, we are celebrating our Republic Day. I want to discuss with you the national symbols of India. Dear friends, I believe and I feel that every one of us should know our national symbols of India. As we know that knowing national symbols of India is equally important at the same time, we also should know why they are called as national symbol and what is their importance. So in this video, you will come to know the national symbols of India at the same time, the little or brief information about the particular symbol. So the first question for you is that which is the national animal of India? I hope you have guessed it right. And it is the tiger. So let me briefly tell you what is what, what about this symbol or why this tiger is very important. The magnificent tiger is a striped animal. It has a thick yellow coat of fur with the dark stripes. The combination of grace, strength, agility and enormous power has earned the tiger its pride of place as a national animal of India. Out of eight races of the species known, the Indian race the Royal Bengal Tiger is found throughout the country except in the northwestern region and also in the neighboring countries, Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh. To check the dwindling population of tigers in India, the Project Tiger was launched in April 1973. So far, 27 tiger reserves have been established in the country under this project covering an area of 37,761 square kilometer square kilometer there might be might changes in the square kilometer but dear friends it is no it is very important for me and for you to know why tiger is a national animal so next question is National Bird of India. I hope you guessed it right. The Indian Peacock, the National Bird of India, is a colorful bird with a fan-shaped crest of feathers, a white patch under the eye and a long slender neck. The male of the species is more colorful than female. The female is brownish, slightly smaller than the male and lacks the tail. The elaborate courtship dance of the male fanning out the tail and preening its feathers is a gorgeous sight. National Flower of India so You can, I hope you guessed the answer. Yes, Lotus. Lotus is a national flower of India. It is a sacred flower and occupies a unique position in the art and mythology of ancient India and has been an auspicious symbol of Indian culture since the immemorial. India is rich in flora. Currently available data, this is I am discussing with you based on the currently available data, place India in the 10th position in the world and 4th in Asia in plant diversity. From about 70% geographical area surveyed so far, 47,000 species of plants have been described by the Botanical Survey of India. I think this is something great dear friends which I would like to explain you once again. From about 70% geographical area surveyed so far, 47,000 species of plants have been described by the Botanical Survey of India. So let us go to the next question. National tree of India and the right answer is Indian fig tree. Indian fig tree 
whose branches root themselves like new tree over a large area. The root then give rise to more trunks and branches. Because of this characteristic and its longevity, this tree is considered immortal and is an integral part of the myths and legends of India. Even today, the banyan tree is a focal point of village and you know also know that banyan tree is also a focal point of village life and the village council meets under the shade of this tree. Let us go to the next one which is also called as very important, very sacred and we all love to see the place and the question is National River of India and I hope you have guessed it in a right way, the Ganga. And dear friends, before me saying, you all know it is called as the National River of India. It is also called as a sacred river of India. You should know dear friends, why it is called as sacred. The Ganga or in, in I think in English we call as a Ganges is the longest river of India flowing over 2510 kilometers of mountains, valleys and plains. It originates in the snow field of the Gangotri in the Himalayas as the Bhagirathi river. It, it is later joined but by other rivers. I know few of them which I would like to mention. I, the, the, the rivers which I know here is that one is Alakananda, Yamuna, Gumti, Kosi and Ga Gagra. I don't know. I, I, I hope I am pronouncing it in the right way. The Ganga river basin is one of the most fertile and densely populated areas of the world and covers an area of more than 1 lakh square kilometers. There are two dams on the river, one at Haridwar and other at Parakla. Paraka, sorry not Parakla, it is Paraka. The Ganga river dolphin or the Ganges river dolphin is an endangered animal that specifically habitats this river. I think more than this you all know that the Ganga is a most sacred river for Hindus or as the most sacred river on earth. Key religious ceremonies are held on the bank of the river at cities such as Varanasi, Haridwar and Allahabad. The Ganga widens out into the Ganges Delta in the Sandriban Swamp, Sandriban Swamp it is of Bangladesh before it ends its journey by emptying it to the Bay of Bengal. Let us go to the next question. National fruit of India and I hope, I hope you have guessed that. The, our national fruit of India is nothing but the right answer and I hope you have guessed it in the right way, mango. See, this fruit eaten dry or used green for pickle, you know that. Why many of us, we really love to eat mango pickle. But here, what actually you should know is, the important is that the mango is one of the most important and widely cultivated fruits of the tropical world. Its juicy fruit is a rich source of vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin D. In India, there are, I think this is very, very important for all of us to know that in India, there are over 100 varieties of mangoes in different size, shapes and colors. Mangoes have been cultivated in India from time immemorial. The poet Kalidasa sang its praises also. If you know that, uh, where it has mentioned about mangoes. And Alexander soured its taste, as did the Chinese pilgrim Hyun Sang or Hyun Sang. Mughal Emperor Akbar planted. I think if I'm not wrong, more than 1 lakh mango trees in Darbanga, Bihar at a place 
now known as lucky bar maybe i may be pronouncing it in a wrong way i i'll re i won't repeat it once again see akbar planted more than a lakh 1 lakh mango trees in darbanga bihar darbanga bihar and now the place is known as lucky bar so how beautiful the history of mango is maybe we all eat mangoes but if you really see the history of the mango it's really important I think from ancient people really love mango, even they might have loved to eat mango. So let us go to the next question, dear friends. National game of India. And I hope you guessed it in a, uh, in a right way. Yeah, hockey. Dear friends, I have few information, but uh, I think we all should know that. Uh, even I also want to tell you, I did not get uh, did not get a proper information to tell you whether it is a really uh, our national game or not. Maybe if you ask me a cross question, I am not able to tell you uh, where it has really written the national game of India. But many 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 sites where which I search to answer this question, and I got one one answer is that the national game of India at present is hockey. You, you should also know that field hockey is considered as the national game of India. The national sport of a country is designated either on the basis of the popularity of a game or on the basis of its historical connect to that game. National game status may also rise from the fact that the sport in question has a long standing rich legacy of the of that country the most obvious reason for designating a sport as a national sport of the country is this obvious occasion or association or of pride that it evokes in the hearts of the countrymen so dear friends you should also know here that uh, as it is mentioned here very clearly and there are some facts which 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 i would like to um, discuss with you that uh, the field hockey the field of hockey game can either be played on a grass field or on the turf a specially made mat like material india's performance in hockey at various international forums was phenomenal during 1920 to 1950s period and that was probably why the sport became accepted as national sport in the country so dear friends the information which i got which i verified which i have which i have really checked in different different sources see um, uh, it's you know that there are uh, the distribution of players in hockey is 10 players on the field and one as goalkeeper uh, till now the information which i got number of olympic gold medals eight number of world cups win only one that is in the year of 1975 you people dear friends you also can go through but this is what the information which i got women's common wealth winner one uh, there is also governing body which is hockey india so friends some more points which i would like to discuss here is that the indian hockey federation was established in the year 1925 then I think uh, if I'm not wrong, Indian hockey took its first international trip to New Zealand where they played 21 matches, won 18, lost one and drew two among them. The trip marked the emergence of the legendary Dhyan Chan. I think in the year 1928 in the Olympic, Indian hockey team won gold medal for the country. And uh, dear friends, there are a lot of things if you really come to know, I think Indian hockey team winning streak ended in the 1960 Rome Olympics when the team lost 0-1 to the Pakistan hockey team in the finals. Indian men's hockey team was the winner of the Hockey World Cup in 1975 held in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, which I already told you. I think there is one more thing also you should know. Indian hockey team has won 24 consecutive matches scoring 178 goals while conceding only 7 in their half. So dear friends really we have a very rich history of the very rich history when we really see we just know the game as a hockey 
but it is really nice to know how well the history has started and how well we are proudly to say that the hockey is our national game and let us go for our next question your friends national song of india and you all know i believe you all know one day mataram let us little discuss what is this song about the song vande mataram composed in sanskrit by bamkim chandra chatterjee was a source of inspiration to the people in their struggle for freedom it has an equal status with jana gana mana the first political occasion where it was sung was the 1896 session of the indian national congress the song vande mataram composed in sanskrit by bamkim chandra chatterjee was this was a source of inspiration to the people in their struggle for freedom which i already told you so here you should also know that the president dr rajendra prasad came up with a statement in the constituent assembly the song vande mataram which has played a historic part in the struggle of indian freedom shall be honored equally with jana gana mana and shall have equal status with it so i to i already told you the first political occasion when it was sung was the 1896 session of the indian national congress and the song was a part of bankim chandra or bankim 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 chandra's most famous novel anand mat 1882 and our pride national anthem of india dear friends i think you should know the timings of national anthem of india and its importance let us discuss that we all know the jana gana mana is our national anthem of india and you also know that in certain occasions even we 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 sing this song and we play this song but the important of this song is that the national anthem of india jana gana mana composed originally in bengali by rabindranath tagore was adopted in its hindi version by the constituent assembly as a national anthem of india on 24th january 1950 it was first sung on 27th december 1911 at the kolkata session of the indian national congress why you might be doubt why 1911 because you you know that the song was originally composed in bengali by rabindranath tagore and the hindi version on 24th january 1950 the complete song consists of five stanzas the first stanza contains a full version of the national anthem playing time of the full version of the national anthem approximately 52 seconds which is the present information which i am sharing with you there is also one general information i am not sure about the information but which which i which i would love to share with you uh, it is also said that a short version consisting of the first and last lines of the stanza i think approximately playing time is 20 second is also played in certain occasion it is there in the internet or there in the website but i am not sure but as per i know the present time the full version of the national anthem is approximately 52 second hi friends this is my youtube channel and if at all you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel i will be posting similar videos and i also request you to go through my previous videos the informative videos on mental health and other issues please support me thank you